countries today, they are all aiming at reducing carbon dioxide emissions. And smart buildings, they play an important role when it comes to that. 40% of CO2 emissions worldwide come from buildings. And in order to be able to control and decarbonize our environments, one has to focus on buildings. Through solutions that we offer as, as, as a company, we are able to allow building owners and tenants and users to reach the net zero uh, targets set by the United Nations and many companies today are aiming to achieve. When it comes to the smart buildings, the relationships between the people living in the buildings and the building itself is evolving into mutual reciprocity. And what I mean by that, the tenants of the buildings can choose what is important for him or for her. Is it the indoor air quality? Is it the cost of the energy consumptions? Is it the comfort level? Is it the uptime that is associated with the building? And, and this is a true transformation to uh, what ha and how we used to live, where it was one way communication between the, the users and the technology. And when I talk about the technology, I'm not talking only about the hardware, I'm talking about the hardware and the software. We have now the technology to convert a building from just a solid object into a living object that has a way of collecting data, analyzing the data, and taking decisions in order to achieve certain objectives. That objective could be improving the energy efficiency, enhancing the performance, um, achieving zero downtime, achieving uh, lower carbon emissions uh, targets, or, for example, dealing with an emergency situation for security, for, for health protection. This technology is learning and developing every day and we have it installed in, in different projects, in different places, in different buildings. When it comes to R&D, it's very important for us. And the reason why it's important, we are, as I said, supplying products to 26 different countries in the Middle East. The reality of the Middle East, you have countries that use different type of products and with different regulations and different standardizations. And that meant that we have to develop and cater for regulations that are different from the Saudi market. So if you look at Egypt, if you look at the UAE, and you look at, at Saudi, those countries use different regulations. And our ability to have our own R&D, our ability to have our own testing and laboratories is actually allowing us to have good relationship with our customer and be able to cater for, for, for those markets. Mind you, when it comes to the HVAC industry, the regulations keep changing. And, and this is also part of the country's aspirations to meet the net zero targets. So almost in every two, three years, we see changes taking place and having an independent R&D for the region, serving the region, allowed us uh, to serve our customer to the best of our abilities. Having 2,500 employees, including 1,400 engineers and technicians, means that we are anywhere our customers are. We maintain the largest of the market service team in the Middle East. This is because we have executed the largest and most complex portfolio of projects anywhere in the region. With this many engineers and technicians, we are responsive to our customers' needs and requests, which is crucial for maintaining superb customer satisfaction. This allows us to penetrate various sectors and industries, increasing our market coverage. Johnson Controls Arabia commitment to sustainability and local content is aligned with uh, uh, the direction 
that we have in, in the kingdom. We are uh, a responsible member of this society. One of the major uh, sustainability fundamentals is to bring material from your surrounding environment. So when we localize our technology and uh, we manufacture it locally, we are contributing to sustainable development by offering the products and solutions required in the development activity from our local environment and, and from local resources. We started this journey of local content development back in 2018, and we are uh, proudly achieving uh, or exceeding 8% year over year local content development from 2018 until today. One example that demonstrates our commitment, not only to sustainability, but also to local content and exports, is a technology called VRF, or Variable Refrigerant Flow. The VRF portfolio of products can save up to 30% on energy costs over traditional products. Johnson Controls Arabia was the first to manufacture this product here in Saudi Arabia. In fact, our VRF research and development is the first and only of its kind in the country. This means that we can customize our solutions to the customer's exact needs. Well, while still the industrial sector is dominated by men, we see evidences of improving the female participation in the market. And uh, in Johnson Control Arabia, we are represented by 10% female, and, and this number is even increasing in the manufacturing complex. We see females working in technical roles, like in, in engineers and uh, in the production line as well. We are proud uh, to see the, this increase. We're talking about increasing productivity. We're looking into the, the, the outcome of bringing innovation and bringing different mentality and mindset to the table. But again, as uh, industrial leaders, we do understand that uh, this comes with challenges and we are accountable to address these challenges and how we better, you know, uh, our practices. The ability to create jobs, the ability to train people, the ability to be able to connect with the society, and the ability to leave a lasting impact is one of the most enjoyable things I do as, as, as a CEO, and I hope to continue to do that uh, through the work uh, we do internally and externally.